Hi. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to your beautiful Fast Friday Turning Point, episode 519. Today, in this one, we're going to be learning about parental patience. Beginning with Psalm 86, verse 15, our recommended reading is Matthew 18, verses 21 and 22. And I just looked, and it's not going to say anything about those verses until after that second section. So we'll read through both first and second section. Then we'll stop, read the recommended reading, and then we'll finish it up. But our turning point today is from John Benton, B-E-N-T-O-N. And our Bible reading is 1 Kings chapters 13, 14, and 15. So if you're excited about this one, hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to leave a like. Remember the like challenge. Go back to the morning video for explanation. And remember, the like challenge will be null and void and canceled if it's not reached by episode 1100 of the Daily Devos. Hang on just a second. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'd straighten my hand up, so sorry about that. But um, but how was your Friday? If it was, if you have not done with your Friday yet, go finish up whatever you're doing tonight, and come back at a later time, and let me know how your fr- your evening went, and what are you looking for to on tomorrow. Or you can go ahead and say what you're looking forward to tomorrow, but then come back later and comment how your how your Friday evening went or how your whole Friday went. So, um, subscribe if you do. Turn on notifications. Share the video and channel with your family and friend. Help me reach the 50 subscriber mark in four days. Don't want to make me sad, so make me happy. And if you'll do it two subscribers a day, two people subscribe today, two people tomorrow, two people on Sunday, and two people Monday, and you'll meet that goal. You got eight subscribers to hit 50. So if you'll do that, that would be that would be neat. And if only one subscriber hits on Monday, we still have Tuesday till midnight to hit that other subscriber. So Please do that for me. Don't make me sad. Make me happy. Please. And you and I'll appreciate you more than you'll ever imagine. Greatly. Greatly. More. <laughs> but also help me reach the 100 mark. The 100 subscribers by May 27th, which is my three-year day mark. Um... Episode 1095 of the Daily Devo three year and video mark, or August the 1st, which somewhat may be end of summer. So, some schools may start August the 1st, whichever, whatever day August the 1st is on. I don't know. But that may be the end of summer for some people. So, but whichever one you do, I hope we can hit 100 at least by the end of summer. So either by my three-year mark, three-year video mark, or the end of summer, whichever one. So if you do that for me, I would, I would appreciate you making me happy on that one too. So don't make me sad, but make me happy. So, but without further ado, let's talk about parental patience. Psalm 86 verse 15 says, but you, O Lord, are a God full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering, and abundant in mercy and truth. Hmm, that's a good one there. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to read these first two sections. Then it'll, it'll, it'll list the uh, recommended reading verses, and then I'll read. Then I'll read them. Hang on a minute. Let me go ahead and find that passage so when I get to it, oh, no, I just, don't worry about it. So being a parent is perhaps the world's best laboratory for learning patience. In fact, the younger the younger the children, the greater the need for parental patience. Young children make the same bad choices over and over. And yeah, we do. <laughs> I can attest. Sometimes they forget. Sometimes they willfully make the wrong choice. 
Sometimes they are so young, they haven't had time to learn. Well, I can't say I was in that in that position. I was always a fast learner. If I did something wrong, I always tried it again, and I got it right. Whatever the reasons for the wrong choice, parents need a lot of patience. And I could per se that I was did give my parents a lot of times that they needed a patience. <laughs> but we made it through. Over 40 years ago, being in that position, and I'll be turning 42 on Tuesday, so take off a few, about five, maybe five years. Because be, being a two, three-year-old, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna make mistakes. You're gonna do this and that. But four, five, and six, you start understanding your 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 mistakes and understanding where you're going wrong, trying it again and getting it right. So compare the situation to our relationship with God. We are his children. We believers in Christ are his children. And all of us, varying levels of maturity. Romans 8, 14. Sometimes we forget what our Father God desires. Sometimes we choose to disobey. Sometimes we haven't learned what the Father's will is. Whatever the reasons for our wrong choice, God has to exercise great patience with us as we grow spiritually. More often than not, patience requires forgiveness. And we are forgiven. We may mess up, but we're forgiven. Because Jesus told Peter not to count instances of forgiveness, Matthew 18, 21 and 22, we can assume God doesn't count either. And that is today's recommended reading. So hang on in just a minute. I'll be right back and we'll read those two verses. Okay, I'm back. 18 verses 21 and 22. Then Peter came to him and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Up to seven times? Jesus said to him, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to 70 times seven. Hmm. Does, it doesn't mean we get to count so many times. but So depend on God's patience and forgiveness when you make a wrong choice. 1 John 1, 9. If you confess, wait a minute. Let me let me read that verse. I want to read it. I just don't can't remember the verse. I'll be right back. So if it will go, if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That's a good memory verse there for you to remember. First John one nine. So. <laughs> His fatherly love is manifested by his patience. Amen. The turning point today is from John Benton, B-E-N-T-O-N. He says, there is no divine attribute more wonderful than the patience of God. Hmm. Amen. 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 Amen, brother Ben. <laughs> Don't ask me why I said that. It's just just the thing I have learned over the years. Amen, Brother Ben. <laughs> wow. So that's all I have for you today. Excuse me. So coming up tomorrow. So I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. 
Keep on keeping on and trusting God and he'll keep you safe in all you say and do in 2023 and beyond. And until tomorrow, peace out, everybody. So long, farewell. Come back tomorrow for another jubilant Saturday. And and then just two videos tomorrow. Including first, part one of episode 1044. And we'll be learning about Yahweh's forgiveness and healing. Psalm 103, 1 through 4, which is another Psalm Choices of Life entry from Chaz Morris, C H A S M O R S E. And then part two at 5 45 tomorrow, the only other video, um, we'll be reconciling relationships from Kimya Loader. Derived from Ephesians 4, 22 through 32. And in our weekend Bible reading for your turning point is uh, 1 Kings chapter 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Five chapters. So if you read 16, 17, Half of 18 tomorrow for Saturday, and then read the rest of 18, 19, and 20 on Sunday. You could split it up basically even. So, and we are talking Sunday, we are talking about the next, the third installment of the uh, personal accounts of the resurrection story titled Indeed. And we'll be hearing from the account of Thomas. So that'll be a good one. Good one to get to later tonight when I finally read it tonight. So but you'll see you'll see that on Sunday. So so with that said, God bless everyone. God bless America in 2023. And I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> So until tomorrow, me and Baby Yoda, we out until we out until till tomorrow. So have a great rest of your beautiful fast Friday, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye everyone. Have a great rest of your Friday evening, and we'll see you tomorrow for another jubilant Saturday and an awesome weekend ahead. Yay! The weekend is finally here. Yay! I tell you what, you never know what he's gonna say. And if you haven't seen the videos from the last few today and yesterday, you probably heard. You probably, if you saw the ending of the ending of last night's video, I accidentally laid him down and was using the voice I use. I was like, "Whoops, sorry about that." <laughs> it's like, "Yay!" Oh, hush. <laughs> trying to fix the camera. He's talking over there. Hush over there. <laughs> but with that said, everyone, hope you have a wonderful weekend ahead, and we'll see you tomorrow for the two videos tomorrow. So, see you then. Goodbye. <laughs>